and here we go again. In this demonstration I'd like to just address uh, one or two questions I was asked by two people now and basically it concerns government website would you believe. Let's just pop there now very quickly. Um, this is a Gov UK. It's, um, a lot of this is basically to do with people residing in the United Kingdom and little bits and pieces they can find on the website but this is also aimed at people who are coming into the UK living ab and leaving um, immigration and emigration they all have things so let's just take a quick look around firstly as you come to the website this is welcome to gov.uk you'll see this popular on gov.uk and find a job let's have a just quick look in there this is a very simple way of finding a, a job. Uh, it used to be called Universal Job Match and I think it's um, it's a find a job service they've called it now. But you can advertise if you're an employer and you want to advertise a job for people you can come here and do it. If you're looking for a job you can find out if you're entitled to one of the wonderful things in the UK a Job Seekers Allowance, JSA. To find out if you're for example on an apprenticeship where the wages may be a little low um, you can get an extra allowance for searching for jobs and that sort of thing if you end up with an apprenticeship you can also get a subsidy to help you uh, make ends meet while you're doing that apprenticeship and of course all the information you need moving from if you're on unemployment benefit and going to work come to this you gov UK and look it up here plenty of uh, information about it and also becoming finding a registered childminder. So if you're a, a parent of a child and you need somebody to look after him while you're maybe one end of the day or the other or during the day while you're working, it is possible to find it here. There's also links to universal credit and finding a job and etc. So you know, although it says it's uh, Gov UK, it's not totally alien. I I found out a while back that I used to work for the Inland Revenue. Um, not dealing with the taxes or anything but I used to work in on the security side of the Inland Revenue and one thing I did learn fairly early on is that a lot of people think oh god Inland Revenue that's terrible horrible 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 fear quake in me boots but if you ever have a problem with your tax if you don't know quite what you can claim for and what you can't claim for go to your nearest Inland Revenue office and ask what you can claim for. Don't try to second guess what you think a mate said, you know, oh you can claim for a new pair of boot laces if you go to this. Well you can, you know, as silly as it seems, I, I used to have a part-time job installing burglar alarm systems and I went and asked a few questions and I found I could actually claim for the drill bits that I used to drill holes in walls. Sil silly little things like that. But this is handy information, especially if you're if you're running on a low profit uh, basis and you need to get as much money in as you can. So don't be frightened of the inland revenue or the taxes or the tax system in this country. Go to a tax office and ask for help. That is what I recommend on there. If you're into doing family trees and that kind of thing, have a look on the Gov UK website. You can get certificates, you can get death and bereavement, you can find out how to do, um, how you, what you have to do to report a death or uh, find out if there's a will in force and that sort of thing. Having a child, parent and adoption, are you entitled to something? Is it information you can find out about um, expectant mothers and that sort of thing? Lasting power of attorney for some people and also marriages, civil partnerships and divorces. This is all goes on on this, on this website. So uh, why people are afraid of it I just do not know. Business and self-employed people can come here for guidance and also how to enhance their self-employed activities, if you like. We've touched on childcare and parenting and uh, includes birth certificates, fostering, adopting, benefits for children, childcare, schooling, this sort of thing. Citizenship and living in the UK, anybody coming into the UK may be interested in this. How to obtain British citizenship life in the UK, getting a passport and that sort of thing, charities and volunteering, uh, living in the UK, the government and democracy of the country and voting, simple thing like voting but if you're not sure how to go about it come to the Gov UK website, it's not all bad. People, oh government, oh I'm scared of government, dear oh dear. Crime, justice and the law, dear dear dear. 
courts, sentencing, and tribunals. This is where you'd maybe find out if you've done something bad, what you can expect as a punishment. You, you click on the subtitles. Every one of these has got sub menus as well. So, appeal a call up to the reserve forces. Um, I'm not 100% sure um, whether if if you're in reserve. I know that I I did a bit of time in the navy and I came out. In my twelfth year of leaving the navy, the war in the Falklands started and I was in fear and trepidation that uh, I'd be called up. If you, that was the situation today, you could appeal to the call up just by, come to the Gov UK website and have a look. If you get convicted of something or sentenced for doing something and you want to know how to appeal, this is where you'll find the answers. There is a multiplicity of, this is, how many times I've scrolled down? Four pages. Let me just go back and do this again, right? do it a page at a time. One, two, three. Three three full pages of advice all to do with the court sentencing and tribunal. Prisons and probation. Let's do the same again. Nearly two pages of information there. Electronic finding a prison, finding a prisoner, getting help with the cost of prison visits. So much more that is available than people look at it and think, oh Gov UK that's tax office. You know, well it isn't reporting crimes and getting compensation young people in the law age of criminal responsibility alcohol and young people what happens if a child under 10 breaks the law it gets his bottom smacked I should think um, I don't know I'm guessing I'm being very glib your rights in the law if you're being arrested what rights have you got being charged with a crime what rights have you got and so forth it goes on there's over two pages there two and a half pages of information about your rights in connection with the law. Let's go back again. Disabled people. I mean I can go on here as you can see I can go on for days and days perhaps just checking out the stuff that we're doing here. It's a job to get back. But have a look at these tabs. This covers it all pretty much. Renewing the road tax on a vehicle can be done in minutes rather than a walk to the post office and paying your money and getting it checked and then waiting for it to come through the post and all that sort of business. This is quick, it's easy, so use it. Driving, transport, education and learning, em environment and the countryside is another one which is very, very useful, been there a few times. Money and tax, this is the inland revenue, this one line here that may help you, may not. Passports, travel, living abroad, visas and immigration, working, jobs and pensions. Interesting, if you reach retirement age, what are you entitled to as, as a pension? Are you entitled to a pension at all? Just because you got to 65 years old or 70, as it will be in years to come, are you entitled to uh, a, an old age pension? It has a dependency, whether you've paid enough stamps during your life, that's uh, national insurance stamps, anyone not living in the UK, we pay... Uh, I think in America and uh, places like that you have to pay for um, medical treatment, you have to have an insurance for medical treatment. In the UK we pay national insurance which is taken out of everybody's wage at source and passed to the government and that pays for things like ambulances, doctors, nurses, hospitals etc and so forth and so on. So don't be shy, have a look at the website here www if you need the three w's nowadays www.gov.uk and come here and have a look around make it make it a friend you know visiting the site the website of all government departments and many other agencies it go to gov uk you can see all about policies announcements publications statistics and consultations find out how the government services are performing if they're not doing well you have the right to complain and indeed this is a place to do it so here you go, here's uh, Grenfell Tower Fire. If you want to find out information and support available for that. Syria, military action taken there. The UK and the EU, oh, the nightmare Brexit. I don't know, I just don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I know it would be better in the history books than it is in looking forward to it. I don't know. UK bank holidays. So much in here that you can find out about. And it doesn't just end there, because as I said before, if you go vehicle taxes, calculate tax rates for vehicle, manufacturers or debt, 
there is just look you see every page has got sub pages and every menu has got a sub menu and apply for a tax driving in the UK get information it goes on and on and on so this is what we've come here to look at basically it's the gov uk website it's a hive of information it has got so much on it it take you days and days and days to go everything that's available on this website so make a note of the address if you've got five minutes to spare take a look at it but leave aside an hour at least because it's going to take you that long just to to have a look at what they do Anyway, that's the end of my little demonstration of today. Thank you very much for listening. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, which is Howard L. Hall on YouTube. If you like my presentations, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs up and tell me why. I will always try, if possible, to reply to all comments. So please, if you, if you think of something, write a comment. Thank you very much for listening.